Hey, what's going on, guys? Hey, welcome back to another episode of Bad Beast Barbecue. We're in the garage today. It is smoking outside, man. The humidity is crazy out here, and it's supposed to rain later on. So, but the wife wanted some fried catfish, and then I wanted to do it outside. So, we were going to use the Matador, Direct Tech Matador, but I didn't want to put all that grease in that big pan. So, I have a smaller fish frying pot that we're going to use on the Matador stand. So I'm going to show you how all that works out. And what's great about the smaller fish frying pot, it fits right in the grooves of the matador. So let's go ahead and get this bad boy prepped up. Let's get some fire going and let's go get some fish in the grease. Hang around. guys so we're finished with our cook it was really quick cook and i i like cooking fish outside because one you don't get the house smelling like uh you know grease and fish and two it's just nice to be outside doing outdoor cooking okay even though it's it's sweltering out here today i don't know it's got to be humidity got to be close to uh the heat index got to be close to 100 out here today so we're not gonna be out in this heat very long so but you guys saw me go old school with the white bread and the catfish and the hot sauce you know louisiana from down south man that's how we do it baby you know all we need is some white bread and some fish so we go ahead and have a taste test we use the louisiana uh seasoning on our catfish and we use peanut oil to do the cooking so let's go ahead and get a taste mm. i don't think better than Catfish is fresh catfish, which we couldn't get up here. So this is frozen catfish, but this is fantastic, man. The Louisiana seasoning, and I'll put a link to it in the description box if you want to check it out. It's fantastic. We use a combination of two different types of Louisiana breading. So it came out crunchy, came out great. The catfish is moist, sweet and firm. And, of course, the hot sauce brings it all together. So, well... That's all we have time for. Hey, if you guys are interested in anything from RecTech, check out our RecTech ambassador uh, or affiliate link, I should say, down in the description block. It'll get you 5% off your purchase. And, um, and like I said, the Matador is a great cooker. However, I didn't want to um, pour a whole bunch of grease into the Matador. That's why I used a fish fryer pan that I had uh, already. And we used that, and it fit perfectly in the Matador. So if I can find out which 
fish fry pan it is. I'll give you the measurements. I'll let you know so you can get one for your matador, okay? So, well, that's it. Like we always say, where there's smoke, there's fire. If it's fired, then damn it, it, there just might be a barbecue there or some catfish and hot sauce being drugged through the bayou. Hey, as always, hey, we'll see you guys around the smoker. Mm. Now I just need a blue moon.